What's up, baseball players? I'm Coach Stan Blewett. In today's video, we're going to talk about good versus bad, normal versus abnormal arm soreness. Whether you're a pitcher, a position player, catcher, infielder, outfielder, we're going to talk about soreness and what you should do about it. All right, so if you're new here, I'm Coach Dan. I'm a former pro pitcher. Check out the links in the description below for my online pitching courses, newly revamped, my baseball books, and just subscribe to the channel because I've got tons of new baseball content every single week. All right, so in today's video, we're going to cover soreness, normal versus not normal, because we don't want this stuff to turn into an arm injury, and you should know what the warning signs are, what your body's trying to tell you when maybe something's not right. So... First thing, good soreness or normal soreness is typically all through the back of your shoulder and flowing down into your armpit and your lat. These are all your decelerator muscles, your big lat muscles, all the rotator cuff muscles in the, in the rear uh, posterior portion of your body. They're slowing your arm down after the 100 pitches you threw in a game recently, right? So those that eccentric portion, the deceleration portion of your motion, that causes a lot of stress and that causes a lot of soreness. Eccentric movements cause more soreness than concentric movements. So in a jump, the jump upward is the concentric phase, the landing phase where you're slowing and, and, and decelerating your body after the jump, that's the eccentric phase. Eccentric movements in the weight room, on the field, in life, they cause more soreness. So it's very normal to be pretty sore, especially if you're just getting back in shape or through a, more pitches than normal, in the back of your arm, that's normal soreness. In the front of your shoulder, in your bicep, in your forearm, that is not a normal area to be sore. These are sort of like accelerators and stabilizers. Your labrum connects to your bicep in the front of your shoulder. If you're having tightness and soreness and pain in the front of your shoulder and in your bicep, that's not a good sign. It's a sign you need to see a doctor. Now look, I'm not here to freak anyone out. The goal is that you come to understand your body as a pitcher and you know when to ask for help and when not to. If, if soreness or pain ever concerns you, tell an adult, tell your coach. As a parent, call the doctor, call a physical therapist and get them checked out. There's, you only have one arm, so you should always be cautious with your body and try to listen to what it's telling you. Let's also talk about the forearm compartment and the elbow. It is never normal to have any amount of elbow pain or soreness in your forearm. It's just not. So a lot of people think, oh, my forearm is sore, but my elbow doesn't hurt, so no big deal. If you read between the lines in a lot of the Major League Baseball reporting, a lot of times when guys get Tommy John surgery, and I've had Tommy John surgery twice, they get forearm tightness in the weeks leading up to it. And if you think about it, this makes a lot of sense because guess what? This ligament is just a passive tissue. Ligaments don't have, like, they're just there along for the ride. And so the muscles in your forearm, they're doing a lot of the job of stabilizing this elbow and protecting that ligament. So if suddenly your forearm starts getting tight and it starts getting sore, and that's not normal for you, and it shouldn't be normal for anyone, but say your forearm just starts getting tight or it starts getting sore, that means suddenly those muscles are working harder than they usually do. And that might mean because there's something going on in your elbow. And this is your body telling you that, hey, I'm getting more stress in my forearm because something's not right in my elbow, so they're having to work harder to do the same job. And as that starts, that continues, they can't keep up and your elbow gets injured. That happened to me on both of my Tommy John surgeries. I had forearm tightness and forearm soreness leading up to that injury. It's, it's difficult. Lastly, let's talk about the difference between soreness and pain because they're very different. Soreness is that like burning feeling that you get when you're just really stiff. It feels like the lactic acid feeling like when you run. Soreness is soreness. It's hard to describe exactly what that is, but pain is very, is very specific. Pain is sharp stabbing sensations, like I'm sticking you with a pin. That is what pain is. A lot of young players will say, oh, my arm hurts, when really they're sore and they're just really stiff, and it can feel really miserable when you're really, really sore. We all know that. But soreness is different than pain. So if you're a coach or you're a parent, really ask your, your kid, be specific. Say, hey, does it hurt like I'm sticking you with the needle or does it just feel kind of gross and just kind of like stiff and kind of like, you know, all, all kind, of, kind of all over? Can you point one exact spot where the pain is or does the whole thing just feel kind of tight and not great? 
ask them to tell you exactly what they mean when they say my arm feels bad or my arm hurts or, or my arm doesn't feel good. Because as a coach, you always want to be cautious with your player's arms. And as a parent, you want to be cautious and send them to PT, send them to a doctor, get some arm exercises they can do so that these warning signs can go away. Okay, body says, hey, my arm's a little cranky. We get on a good arm care regimen and now I'm throwing harder. My arm feels great. I have more stamina. Everything is good. At some point for every pitcher, especially, there will be a moment where your arm stops feeling good every day or it just like starts to hurt a little more often, or you get sore a little more often. And those are the points where you can either up your training and start to do some arm care consistently, get in the weight room more often, and go in the right direction, or ignore it and keep going in the wrong direction of more pain and more soreness. So as we wrap up with any amount of soreness, whether it's the more concerning stuff that you should be concerned about in the front of your arm, or the less concerning stuff that's more normal in the back of your arm, Give it a day, give it 24 hours, 48 hours. Does it start to clear up? Does it start to feel better and go away like it was a normal part of throwing? That's an important part of the, just understanding what's normal and what's not. Because when you're young, you don't have a good baseline. But again, forearm, elbow, bicep, front of the shoulder is stuff to be a little more concerned about. Be cautious with it. Stuff in the back, it could still be something. So be cautious with it. Listen to your body, take time off. But again, you have to figure out what normal soreness is for you. But in general, the front is not as good. The back is more typical. But again, be cautious. You only get one arm and you want to keep it as healthy as you possibly can. All right. If you have any questions, leave one in the comments below. Grab one of my books or online courses. You'll also find that in the description. And I'll see you here in the next video.